Tadá! Okay, um, a viewer on the channel actually mentioned that there has been a comparison between the King Grinder K6 and the Easy Presso ZP6, what, which, which I was so surprised because they have nothing in common. <laughs> they do have some similarities and I never realized it. Like the catch cups. Okay, so the catch cup of the K6 can actually fit here. Huh? It actually fits here on the ZP6. Let me remove the sleeve. See? You can actually put the catch cup of the King Grinder K6 on the ZP6 and the catch cup of the ZP6 on the K6 as well. So they, they actually have the same specs for the catch cup. It's the same diameter, it's the same thread. It's seamless. <laughs> and I never thought of this. Another similarity of these two is the adjustment. Right? So they both have the adjustment of the grind size on top and outside. Okay? Even the ZP6. It's right here. And they actually share almost the same height. Okay, but I told that viewer they function very differently, right? As we all know, the ZP6 is um, designed for filter use, while the King Grinder K6 is designed to be an omni hand grinder. They also have very different um, burr sets. They have very dif different schematics on the inside. So the, the locking mechanism of the K6 is very different from the Easy Presso ZP6. I'm gonna take these grinders apart so that you can see for yourself. I wonder if this is going to fit. Oh, it does! <laughs> you can even interchange the crank. Let's take these grinders apart so we have a better view of what I'm telling you, the insides. I just need my tweezers for the King Grinder K6. Right, let's do the King Grinder K6 first. To do this, you need to remove the catch cup first and then you're gonna want to put it at, at the coarsest setting. Now, why do you want to do this? This will help you push the burr sets up easier. Right, if you have something like this, To push down the burr sets it will be easier if you don't have something like this to help you push the burr sets up you can always use your fingers and then just squeeze squeeze here really tight because the spring is the spring is kind of strong All right okay just push down if you have something to push it against and then there is a clip here yeah, you see that? Okay, you should be very careful with that clip. Right? And then everything comes loose. Right. Let's do like a quick brush on the burr sets. Let's put this here because this is actually what we really want to see. Yeah, there, the burr set. All right. Now we're going to try. Ah, now we're going to open the Easy Presso ZP6. So, 
you're gonna want to put it to this to its coarsest um, setting also okay and then same thing you you push the burr sets up and then there is the locking mechanism right here and then you twist it so it's more tool less than the King Grinder K6. Alright, now everything comes apart. All right, let's do a quick brush also. Now it becomes very obvious. All right. So I'll take out the washer, which looks very identical also. <laughs> Yeah, I don't want to mix that. So here is the axle and the burr set of both the grinders. So here is the Easy Presso ZP6. As you can see, it has a bigger um, receiving burrs. And then it narrows down to smaller burr teeth. Right. Now we have here the King Grinder K6. It has a lot more narrow um, burr teeth, like the receiving part here. It's a lot narrower and the shape is different. So the moment that the coffee reaches this part, it is grinded. And then it slides down until it is grinded to a much smaller size. While in the Easy Presso ZP6, it is a lot um, um, milder. So when it reaches this point, it has a bigger space. You see that? It has a bigger space right here. It grinds down to smaller, smaller slices and then until it reaches this part right here the axles are they actually look they actually look the same um, let me get my calipers that is 10 mm and then the k6 has a 10 mm um, Axle as well. So I actually want to try putting it here. <laughs> wow. It actually fits. Ah, but no, it is longer. So that's where it is very different. Okay, I don't want to take apart the insides of it, but um, the insides, let me show you, the insides look exactly, look almost the same too. I'm going to hold it here, and there is your inner burr. So the inner burrs of the ZP6 has a smaller teeth. As compared to the King Grinder K6, it has much bigger teeth at the bottom as compared to the teeth of the Easy Presso ZP6. Again, again, they are made to do very different jobs. The King Grinder K6 is made to be an omni hand grinder, omni, um, meaning they can do both espresso and filter coffee, while the Easy Presso ZP6 is made, designed entirely to do filter coffee. Right. Um, yeah, I think that's it. We're not going to do a brew. We're not going to do a brew comparison for now. Thank you so much for watching. In the next videos, I'm going to show you more about coffee. Bye!